San Quen is located in the basin of the River La Pasión. The Palace of the Serpents is one of the most massive architectural works ever undertaken by the Mayas. It was built by order of King Tajal Chang Ak between the year 760 and 790 of the current era. Another landmark of Kankwen is a square stone panel that weighs 100 pounds that lies on the ball game court. The piece is engraved with beautiful ornaments and hieroglyphics that commemorate rituals celebrated by the rulers in this place. We have undertaken a magic trip into the past of the mysterious Mayan world and an integral part of this world is the Usumacinta River which was used by the Mayas as their main navigable route. This wild river was revered by the Mayas since it provided them with precious water. It was like a living artery that provided communication between them as well as food and drink. Nowadays, it is one of the favorite sites for ecotourism. This exquisite flora that grows on its shores complements the mysterious and winding course of the Usumacinta. Orchids and liana abound, and the trees sink their roots into the riverbed. To fly over the Usumacinta like a bird is a unique experience, a majestic view from a different perspective onto these mysterious places of the Mayan jungle a truly unforgettable adventure. Piedras Negras dates back to the classical period. Its monuments are considered the finest artworks of the pre-Columbian America. In Piedras Negras, two kinds of structures can be seen the temples that are built on pyramidal bases and the residential chambers, better known as palaces. The architecture shows arched roofs, some covered with wood pierced crests, with geometrical motifs and pilasters decorated with stucco motifs. Our exploration takes us to Isabal and Copang where another very important aspect of the Mayan civilization established itself. Through a small city, Kiriwa has some of the most original and most detailed carvings of the Mayan world. The place is situated in the department of Izabal, 40 kilometers ahead of Copan, and the history of the two is inseparable. The enormous stelae and sculpted sumorphous rocks are creations of the classic period, as proven by the stelae that bear dates of the 5th century. For a long time, Kiriwa depended on Copan, but then was liberated when its king, Cielo Kuakak, killed the king of Copan, Dieciocho Conejo, 18 Rabbit. Then began the rise of Kiriwa. The plan of the city shows the south and north Acropolis. The stelae of Kiriwa, which is surrounded by exuberant tropical rainforests, reach impressive heights. And so, after a long but enriching journey, we finally conclude our sensational adventure through the heart of the Mayan world. With this excursion, we have brought the amazing history of the Guatemalan civilization back to life. These days, the country's people and culture is gaining strength again and would like to offer the world all its wealth and knowledge in order to enable the peace and happiness that its nations so desire.